I just wanted to respond to Jenny. So I'm not a, a scientist. I don't, I don't know exactly how the gene gets in there and, and where it comes from. But I'm a businessman and I do know what it does for my farm. Mm -hmm. And uh, since we've had GMO sugar beets, uh, increased. And the reason why is before we had those, we were spraying them and spraying them and spraying them with other types of herbicides to kill the weeds and try to control the weeds. And then we had to have manual labor. That's when we would have the uh, uh, migrant crews come and try to hoe them and clean them. And, and over the time that we're adding all those other active ingredients to those plants, because every time we pass over that with with some type of chemical or some kind of you know crop protecting product, we're applying more active ingredients to those uh, plants, and so now with the GMO we don't we don't do any of that. We do uh, usually one or two two applications of Roundup, and and that is what it is, and. Uh, because of not stunning the crops and pushing them back from all those other applications, our yields have increased. I mean, they've increased dramatically. And uh, the cost of the hand labor and the cost of all those applications is, you know, it's hundreds of dollars per acre. And so uh, there is an actual financial benefit to the, to the farmer. Okay. And, and uh, I wouldn't say it's easier. <laughs> But we do a better job is what we actually do now because we have a we have a different tool than we had than we had before. So I, uh, there is a quite a financial benefit, benefit the farmer, to right. the to the farmer. Now, as I say that, and I and you all heard me say we are producing more and more sugar now. So guess what the price of sugar is doing. <laughs> The price of sugar is going down, so you're going to buy sugar for less money because I produce it for less money. And and if I buy beet sugar, yes, correct. <laughs> and so so I'm just saying there is a benefit to the end consumer uh, indirectly.